Good morning, it's seven o'clock on Thursday the 10th of November. You're listening to Breakfast with Nick Ferrari on LBC 97.3 FM. Now I've had so many calls from my listeners down the months who are angry and worried about the level of migration into this country. And poll after poll shows that people are concerned about the impact on society and the fact that no politician seems prepared to tackle this issue. And this week I'm frankly amazed by an admission from Home Secretary Theresa May that because of a decision approved by the government to relax some border controls, she has no idea, that is no idea, how many people came into this country over four months of the summer without any proper checks. And this from a government that came into power promising to fix our broken immigration system, shore up the borders and cut net migration to the tens of thousands. Just what the hell are they playing at? <laughs> Now, the politicians holed up in Westminster have no first-hand experience of the harsh realities that have been seen with this massive increase in immigration over recent years. Communities have been swept aside, native culture has been destroyed, and thousands of hard-working Britons have lost their jobs to immigrants. I hate the fact that anyone who raises this issue is accused of being a racist. It's not racist to want to have a debate. In 20 years, the population of this small island could be 70 million. 70 million and we won't be able to cope. That's why in just seven days a hundred thousand people have signed a petition calling on the government to get a grip and that would start with a debate in the House of Commons. Our public services are already at breaking point and cuts are being made across the board and not one politician has been able to explain to me how we'll even begin to cope if the numbers of people flooding into this country continue as they have for the last 20 years. David Cameron promised he'd sort out the mess that Labour got us in. But where are the policies to back up the promises? My listeners aren't convinced he's cracking down at all. And neither are the thousands of people queuing at Britain's door, waiting to be let in. Keep on arguing, but the king, come in. 